give thanks and praise to the mystic laws of the universe and its protective functions and forces in nature that guide our thoughts and our thoughts in our deeds that are lawful, correct, and positive. We do give thanks and praise to the God be the glory to the most high creator of nature and the glory. Salute out the free people, public notice, the corporate state, the federal commercial agency. I will say uniform commercial code one financial statement. Government of Jamaica. Zip. It's the Duns number three eight seven three dash two six six dash five two two. And then you say the government of Jamaica, dance number, without the dashes. The attention, people. Very same numbers, without the dashes. One represent the creditor. The other represent the debtor. But it's a very same or similar entity. One entity with two sides. No different from the birth registration form. When them issue... Uh, is a uh, treasury registration number, some call it a TRN, tax registration number. And when you use it with the dashes, it represents the debtor side of the surety. The debtor side of the surety. And when you use it without the dashes, when you direct them, to the accounting, then that represents the credit side, the very same ledger, the very same instrument, the very same, you know, information report, very same bookkeeping. So you have the debtor side, and you have the creditor side, but we not really get the information period we don't know what's going on so this is why we have a problem i share over and over in a repeated format repetitively in order for we just familiarize ourselves with this kind of level of the information so you see the duns number or you see a nine digit identifying number with the dashes very same number without the dashes and then we have vessel of the united states when you look at the public law it has expressed to you what you know constitute an instrumentality or a vessel and why would we say that is because this government of jamaica was created by this executor bernard Executor EX Clayton M with this number behind his thing, and then date of filing 2012. In a people, 2012 March 29th, 2012. Filing time, the at the AM. So, yes, at the time, filing number, lapse date, none. And where is the location? 1520 New Hampshire Avenue, Northwest Washington, D.C. 20036 USA. So the government of Jamaica, this specific financial instrument represents you know, so the business side, the agency side. Right, I deal with you know, them foreign currency. This is where you go up on the international level where everybody is connected to that foreign system, which is 
it has an anti God because they must institute their own agency legal standard in the form of, you know, laws, so called, which is actually rules and regulation. Can I tell you? Just like how them are going to show you, sir, there is numerous uniform acts that have established, that have been established as law. Yeah, man. So it says the Uniform Commercial Code, first published in 1952. When did so-called Jamaica get independence? After 1952. So this is before the so-called Independence Act. First published in 1952 is one of a number of uniform acts that have been established as law with the goal of harmonizing the laws of sale and other commercial transactions. So you know the laws of sale are deal with commerce according to them and other commercial transaction across the United States. And we're we'll putting incorporated, uh, you know, sir. You have the United States carry different meanings according to its context. So in this context, this would represent the United States Inc. as an agency. Through uniform commercial code, Adoption by any of the several 50 states. This is like the Florida and, you know, the Georgia and the North Carolina, which is separate and distinct from the agency itself, the United States as an agency itself. And then it says the District of Columbia, which we know as Washington, D.C. area, and the territories of the very United States, Inc., the agency, the corporation. So these are the subtlety and the distinction, people. So we say, compare the statutory instrument, which is the Jamaica Constitution Order 1962, that establishes for the judicial courts jurisdiction at common law, equity, and admiralty under Chapter 5 of the very Jamaica Constitution, as opposed to the federal corporate agency or state, i.e. the government of Jamaica, establishes a similar jurisdiction except as principles under the Uniform Commercial Code. So here you go. The Uniform Commercial Code is what we can call the legal standard. Put it that way. You now I mean on the legal standards are alternatively used as rules and regulations, not necessarily law. And these Uniform Commercial Codes and legal standards are always contractual in nature. Basically, it's about contract. Always about contract, people. It's at the Uniform Commercial Code, Section 1, that's 301. Construction of Uniform Commercial Code to promote its purposes and policies. Purposes and policies. And it's a Applicability of supplemental principles of law. So this is the change, the subtle change. And remember, you know, this was published in 1952. And remember them come with a devil switch in 1933. With the June 5th Act. Where them could have said them a change. Because so them go on with a bunch of things within that 1933 era which derive. It's called trading with the enemies. Trading with the Enemies Act. This is when the foreign bankers start looking at the common folk straight across the plain as the enemy. Only because they are function or operate from a corporate construct, from a business perspective, an office of profit perspective. 
So you usually them get greedy and totally ignore it. What them call human rights are your inherent dignity as man. And we ignore these things in order to promulgate their color of law. You know what I mean? Yeah, their admiralty law. Or their statutory legal standard guise as law. I hope my people are following uh, with us a chant philosophically. Yeah, I share what opinions from our perspective and point of view as we are learned, as we are moved forward step by step. So it says, A, the Uniform Commercial Code must be liberally construed and applied to promote its underlying purposes and policies, which are, one, to simplify, clarify, and modernize the law governing commercial transactions. So it's of everything to do with commerce. Number two, to permit, to permit, the continued expansion of commercial practices through custom, usage, and agreements of the parties. And three, to make uniform the law among the various jurisdictions. So, the different, different federal areas, jurisdiction, venue. Them have the uniform commercial code in order to unify and make it, you know, simplify and clarify so we can qualify what is going on out there. So again, it has said, uh, them create this thing to simplify, clarify, modernize the law governing commercial transaction. This is why I say I don't need a license if I'm not engaged in commerce. And it applies straight across the earth. It's not, you know, unique to the mainland or is it unique to this island? This is, you know, law straight across the board. This is where we can distinguish what is legal, meaning statutory rules and regulations, and what is law, called the only law, but can manifest itself on the earth. After the divine law, it can only come from, as we would have it now, the Bible, because I'm there, so we're going to find them say this is God's words and this is God's prophets and this is God's law and it's a universal book. There's no way you're going to go on earth and can locate a copy of the Bible in whatever form. Yeah, so when you say a Quran, you use a similar thing. Whichever rare, rare religious construct you use, all of them are going to uniform or just the language may be different. But when you break down the interpretation, not just the interpolation, then you're going to say it's just the language, but it's the same concept. And the truth within the earth is that there is a divine power. Yeah, man. The divine creator. And there is what is known as the adversary of such. Hence, we can look at law, lawful conduct, and then we can say legal and legalities out there. So we keep reiterating that what is legal is not necessarily lawful, it's separate and distinct things, two different areas. The lawful side I deal with the divine master, the creator of nature. 
while the legality I deal with the adversary, the constructs of man. This is when man are defect from the creator and his creation and a move to the adversarial world with its doctrine, ideology, and philosophy. There are two separate and distinct things out there. This is why them here are registered legal entity and them try to attach it to you adhesively through silent deception and inducement to participate in fraud. And because it's unknown to you, then it seems legal. Remember, ignorance of the law do not excuse us because we have been ignorant of law. You know what I mean? Then, you know, we find ourselves You know, sir, being criminalized. Uh, them are giving rules and regulation, which is not law, which requires consent. Without consent, it's not applicable. These people don't care. So this is why we chose to keep sharing information on this level, as boring as it may be. But this is how, you know, we bring the truth forward step by step. Patiently. A room wasn't built in a day. But we have a plant to see a truth in the earth, or at least revive or resurrect the seed of life in the earth. Uh, as you are now with this birth certificate entity, you are being presented as. You know, that's a, a dead entity, or they would call it the living dead, which would be oxymoron, but yes, you are the dry bones, only because it's unknown to you out there. You are the dry bones. Yeah, man. So this is how we, you know, we saw our seed step by step, you know. These, unless this place, by the particular provisions of the Uniform Commercial Code, the principles of law and equity, including the law merchant and the law relative to capacity to contract, principal and agent, estoppel, fraud, misrepresentation, duress, coercion, mistake, bankruptcy, and other validating or invalidating cause shall supplement its provision. So this is what them really are used out there only because they're, you know, in a corporate environment. So them are for use a uniform commercial code established now as law, which we know are different, you know. And it, it was there for the purposes to, you know, clarify and then upgrade and modernize their commercial transaction, their commercial world. So once we declare that we are in fuck outside of commerce and the legal entity is just what it is, all we're supposed to do is say, yo, direct whatever issues to this surety, this account. And we endorse whatever instrument is there with whatever mark we use. And that should suffice, but because of the double dipping, greedy, parasitic sodomites, the adversary take over the rulership. So the thing just changed in a different direction where we move away from what is lawful, good, and proper to what is now legal. I mean, degraded. Degraded and improper. That's what's going on on the legal side. That is why with all of the legality out there, look at the chaos of the earth. In every aspect, look at the chaos of the earth. Yeah, man. Anytime we see law 
by itself as a as in the foregoing it means common law except the state agencies are taking the common law jurisdiction from the contract the uniform commercial code the remedy of course is uniform commercial code 1 that's 308 so the uniform commercial code is a deceptive criminal contractual construction constitution of sort to those who use it against us so it's a deceptive criminal contractual constitution of sort to those agents who use the very uniform commercial codes against us the uniform commercial was created the government of jamaica that's the dunn's number which is a de facto federal corporate state as opposed to the de jure island of Jamaica or Zamayaka. And when we said de jure, it means, you know, the original or the proper, uh, the first. Come on, before it changed. I will tell you, so they make a big devil switch in the earth. And it starts with this federal banking system, which is foreign to this location with them. New deal and them negotiable instruments and them financial system where we just now are barely a grasp what it really is. So, as we are learn step by step, we just move forward and share. All right, it's a uniform commercial code 1 201. General definition. Subsection 38. It says state mean a state of the United States, which is the United States Incorporated. So this is a uniform commercial code. A state means a state of the United States Corporation as opposed to being one of the several 50 states of the Union. So that's a distinction there. Now in the United States Code, Code, Title 28, Part 1, Chapter 176, Subchapter 8, Section 3002, Definitions. Subsection 14, State, means any of the several states. So in the United States Code, when I'm say state, they might, they might be specific here. Any of the several 50 states, basically. But the Uniform Commercial Code, because this is now established as law, it doesn't necessarily apply here. So when them say state, it, it go right back to the United States Incorporated. Yeah, the United States Inc. Yeah, man. Our people have to figure it out, you know. We just are lay the foundation. We just are, you know. I plant the seed for when we're bright warriors them step up them can look at this thing and say okay we have something for work wit you know what I mean now what's a public law 101 that's 647 title 36 or November 29 19 or start 104 okay crime control act of 1990 and this are the information here. Date published here. Length of the page. Annotation. Public law. Also known as the Crime Control Act of 1990 was enacted by the Senate and the House of Representatives in November 1990. And it has an abstract. The first title deals with, deals with international money laundering. Covering reports on uses made of currency transactions report electronic scamming, scanning or currency notes and clarification of definitions of monetary instruments title 2 also known as the victim of child abuse act 1990 discusses the investigation and prosecution of child abuse cases court appointed special advocate programs Child Abuse Training Programs, Federal Victims' Rights and Protections. Interesting, Federal Victims' Rights and Protections. Child Care Worker 
background check. You need a lot more of these things. Child care, work or background check. Grants for the television. Testimony or grant for televised testimony. This are when them probably they're in a different location and can only go up on the Zoom. And the treatment of juvenile offenders who are victim of child abuse. Well, right there, you know, if Queen Africa get abused from her child, then this would apply for our treatment of juvenile offenders who are victims of child abuse. Now, real quick, if you are a parent and you have been abused, it is incumbent on you to make sure that cycle does not repeat with your children. Irrespective of what's going on, that should be a priority. Not to let this thing, you know, repeat within your bloodline. And when we see people have been molested and then them children go through the same thing, only if we see their children go through the same thing and then they say it's generational curse. Listen. We know it's tough out there, you know, but sometimes when we take responsibility for our actions, then it's just that. You know what I mean? We are the one where have to act unless somebody have a gun to our head or them do something to it where we are act outside of our voluntarily, voluntary will. You can't see you been molested or got through so much trauma. And then when you do, uh, I'm a, you know, most people that shut down and about to try to get involved per se. And if them do get involved, it would be on a level where it's not promiscuous. So if them do get in molested and then them get involved now, then probably their involvement, they're going to last them for the rest of their life. They're not going to look for that much up and go elsewhere and elsewhere and not perpetuate the same, you know what I mean, trauma. Cause. So you have children and not take care of the children, then predator is out there, very same predator where, you know, violate you. So once you have them kind of experience that, yo, you have to make sure it narrates your children. It's on you, the parent, before so you lock your old man, lock that mess. Yeah, you're not about to push out for the same thing I reoccur. As sad as it is. As sad as it is. Leave it right there. The subsequent section contains the child protection, restoration, and penalties enactment act of 1990. We need some of these things are, you know, manifest out here. Too much predator. Is here unregistered. We know people where I teach in a high school and them violate the high school children. So you know, say a big old great old man, them here, you know, I mess with little 15, 14, 13 year old little high school girls. But they might get locked up, they might go to prison, but them not going to a registry where everybody knows that this is a predator. These people get their own license guns, own all kind of businesses, fly in and out of the country like nothing when they are in fact criminals. Heinous criminal. But these predators are being secure and protected by 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 a legal system that is in place. Now, when it comes out to law, these people will be hanged. These people will be decapitated. These people would have to know their place. Well, they are the ones that should be highly regulated. However, they are not. This is why we have them kind of problem here in a society. Outline offenses involving children and discuss the protection of crime victims. We now have these things here. Some of the other topics include in this omnibus legislation includes juvenile justice, mandatory detention, correctional option incentive, 
anabolic, anabolic steroid control, drug law enforcement, and shock incarceration. I want to know what is shock incarceration. That means just catch you and lock you up and put it through the rest. Trauma and all kind of bad experience. Only because them said them are the agency with big guns and can. You know what I mean? Until you have to try to bring them to be if you say, hey, you're wrong. This is not law. This is your legal policy, your legal standard. The eyes as law. Who does it apply to? And if it doesn't apply to me, then you're outside the scope of your authority. Southern thing I don't want. It's the additional details. Corporate author. Should I repeat that, people? Corporate author. Why me always are telling us to go see the Congress? Because them are the corporate order, author. Them are the culprits. Corporate author. United States Congress, Washington, D.C., United States. See it? Sales source, National Institute of Justice, and I'm location there. Publication format, document. Publication type, legislative or regulatory. Regulationary material. So them are regulate you people, are regulating us as a people. Language, English, country, United States of America, note, public law. So people say, you are foreign that it not apply to we, then a hoof of money you not use. You don't know, get IMF, international foreign currency, what you cannot see. Hmm? You don't know, use a central bank, government of Jamaica, currency, but it's only, as we would say, it represents a legal tender, but it not really have the substance. So it's actually a negotiable instrument, meaning a promissory note. That's what this, you know, so-called money where we have is. However, the book data entry is something else. And I guess the mafia have something of substance to represent where you cannot see. Yeah. But, uh, the truth is that just like how you have the debtor surety, which is a public side, you have, to have the creditor on the private side. And the private side is what animates public side, just like how the spiritual side animate the physical side. So from the private derive the activities manifestation of the public. Yeah, and from the spiritual the very same thing, the manifestation derived from the spiritual you know, to the physical it's not from the physical and then go back. No. It starts with the private. It starts with the spiritual. It starts with the invincible. And then the manifestation becomes visible. Yeah, man. <laughs> so it's a. Uh, because the states have passed the Uniform Commercial Code. When them said they make this, the you know, the so-called law, no, they establish it as law. It has made citizen persons, which are legal entities and articles of commerce. You become human resource. You become commodity for this foreign agency. We have exercised them uniform commercial code established now as law. So you, the citizen, which is a person, where the legal definition of such would be you're a legal entity and an article of commerce. This is why the birth certificate 
is trading on what I'm called the stock market. Yeah, it is a market of the stock. This is why them consider us as a people shackle, not cattle, but shackle. Because of that very piece of paper. The very piece of paper is what I'm going to use to put a shackle. Because they call it a bond, they use it as a bound to totally enslave us as a people. I did it. I'm uh, in a little recording of the uh, about my calling on the road. Yeah, let me use the very bird certificate as a as the shackle. When I'm said it's a bond, let me use it as a bound to bound us to enslave us to a piece of paper by way of silent deception. And inducement, inducement to participate in fraud by way of the birth registration, legal, not lawful, legal name title. Because when you look at your birth registration form, that name, legal name, is in all caps. It's not upper and lower. Upper and lower is the lawful, but they want to, you know, say, enjoin you, the lawful man, with their legal entity, which is the agency's creation. So we have to break it down this way, you know. So it's uh, it has made a citizen person and the state, the citizen person, which are legal entities and commerce, and the state to be vessel of the United States, placing the state and its citizen under maritime law. So this is where it comes down to. <laughs> this is where it really comes down to people. So when you say what law is it, them now tell us a maritime law. You know what I mean? Them now tell us a commercial law. Them now tell you nothing at all. Them just as a law. Now public law, June twenty fifth, nineteen forty eight, chapter six four five sixty two start. 685, vessel of the United States. So this is where they are defined vessel of the United States. The term vessel of the United States as used in this title means a vessel belong in whole or in part to the United States or any citizens thereof or any corporation created by or under the laws of the United States or any state, territory, district or possession thereof. Now, this government of Jamaica Uniform Commercial Code Financing Statement, UCC1 Financing Statement, see it here? And this is where it was created, and it created, you can look it up, it's deep, well, you won't find it, per se, I think, um, you know, they remove it from the location, but I keep my original UCC copies. So this is where me can prove, so the government of Jamaica, this is its location right here. In, a, in, a, in an office space somewhere. And this is a man who it's a own. The so called assets of such agency or corporation. You understand? And this is why, irrespective of where everybody has set out there with them, this is a jurisdiction and that the jurisdiction. Once we have a central bank, 
it is a federal bank. And if a central banker is any currency, then it's federal currency. And the very, very central bank are going right back to these foreign people. It's just the common folk to reach this level. They can see the information for what it is. But as we go along, as we go along, people. <laughs> so them said the Uniform Commercial Code make all crime commercial only by contract as per 27 CFR 72.11. You can look up that. Therefore, all statutory legal standard, i.e. color of law, are contractual commercial laws. And the remedy is a uniform commercial code 1-308. This is where it says without prejudice. And when you see it above our signature on any instrument, will represent the following. Number one, not a promise to appear and vitiate perjury. Number two, enforces the right to contract and the right to compromise an unconscienceable contract. Number three, reserve all applicable Bill of Rights, like the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedom, and Article 3, Judicial Power, which is a court, the Supreme Court of Record, not these administrative, adjudicative locations. Criminal intent must be brought forward to proceed. So when you come with a trial, you have to bring, present the criminal intent. Present my criminal intent. They can't, because there is no criminality here. Separation of powers. There is no separation of powers here. The agencies all work together. All constitutional terms dealing with contract, judicial, and taxes. Reserved personam judicial issue or jurisdictional issue. A couple of subject matter only jurisdiction and summary admiralty. Non assumpsi, habeas corpus, activating clause for police powers at probable cause. What's the probable cause? There is none. Disrupt. What's that? Numbria doctrine. I forgot to look at that up to see what that is. Confession and avoidance. So basically, we just have pushed some information so people can take them time for comprehensive. We are living a time now where a lot of we have been tricked. And not just tricked, we have been deceived. You understand? And we are worship a false... Well, not I. Most people are worship the false god. Most people are worship the fallen angels out there. Most people are worship the creation, totally ignoring the creator. It's like I, the creator, manifest myself in splendor and glory. And for, as the creator, I create all these things, and including my children. And when I create my son and all of these other things that I create, then the people forget I, defect from I, totally. And even when my son has said, look, you know, his like, father is not me. The ones that must say, no, you know, ignore the father, worship the son. You know what I mean? Ignore the creator. You know what I mean? And glorify the creation. So this is the material aspect of our fall. And it's subtle. But God, the deception is so huge. Yeah, man. Anytime you did a with truth, just be keen, be cognizant, be observant. Yeah, and you can detect, say, after a while, that very same truth, amongst others, have a change. You understand? Yeah, it have a change. And once it changes, it's no longer the truth. So this is what we are dealing with. Most I create him earth and bestow laws upon the earth. And the adversary manifests itself and create legality. Spoil the earth. And we'll leave it right there. 
out the usual step by step. The brave may fall but never yield. We are bold and brave, firm and strong. Only righteousness shall govern the earth. Only righteousness. And remember, you know, my thing on a clap on. Be tambourine and go in on a church and a sing song. The basic, the basic, your clean hands and your pure heart are that of the demonstration of the righteousness where I talk about. Not in a big church and a big congregation. No. A you as man, I look into yourself and find your God. And choose to live up full and righteousness accordingly. And if you go group up with a bag of people, a whole hand and all of with, you know, untidy. This is where, you know, the problem is right now. Going to the church, every time you hear stories, some beacon that they are, you know, a sex off, all the little girls in the church and all the little girls in know it and everybody we're supposed to know, probably no one that's ignored. Why is that? In all of these congregations, there is that sexual demon was spoiling. Just check. Just check out the people. This is why we say ones have to choose to discipline themselves. And on a public thing, that, that a personal thing. Yeah, your self-discipline is just that. Your personal thing. And when you choose to ignore that, then don't be surprised. Don't be surprised when you fall, you find yourself out like a harlot. And society are going to celebrate you for that. That is the decay of society. We move away from the family values and the family concept. And I live like what we are here out there. You know much big old man. I do the very same thing. That lady I freak her. I said her dad do. Whole heap of them is out there people. Yeah man. But like cockroach. And time I gonna come. with them ever get exposed. Yeah, and once truth is there, then you terminate them, you eradicate them. Yeah, man, you clean up this earth. <laughs> Give thanks and praise. No more sound in our like my style. You know? I'm mean, not begging a friend. You know? If you have truth, I salute that. If you have pushed righteousness, I salute that. If you ask a love, we salute that. Outside of that, we're good. Now we're in doubt. Again, I just free them, free the minion, free the man. That is the advocacy. Whether you like it or not, whether you like it or not. Freedom, freedom, freedom.